everybody it's Patricia and welcome back to my channel it's time for our chatty get ready with me so uh, let's go ahead and get started before we start um, you guys know if you watched last week that I had a colonoscopy scheduled for this week and I had it on Tuesday and they went to put my IV in this hand and something happened I don't know blood was going everywhere I almost passed out it was awful and I don't normally well guys you know I, I pass out kind of easy but I've never had like the sight of blood make me want to pass out but yeah and I was laying down <laughs> and so that happened it looks better than it did it was a big knot it, it was awful so anyway then my IV had to go here so <laughs> yeah anyway I just wanted to I wanted to point that out before we got started if you guys saw my hand you're like oh it's from a failed attempt to put an IV into my hand okay but my colonoscopy came back they cut the doctor come and told me right when I was you know waking up that everything looked good no polyps no nothing don't have to go back for 10 years yay okay so now Let's get started. I, I haven't put my primer on. I have done my skincare. I'm using this Huda primer. I like this primer. I'm going to shake it up a bit. Sometimes it feels a little separated. Just shake it up. So, other than the, um, other than the colonoscopy, I've had an uneventful week. Um, nothing exciting. Uh, my brother came and got the car. It's gone. Uh, it's at the mechanics getting stuff done to it so it'll be ready for him to drive. Um, yeah, that's, that's, oh, I gotta give you a COVID-19 COVID-19 update. Two cousins with it. Uh, one was hospitalized but um, she's back home the other one has not gone to the hospital she seems to be doing well she's sick but last I heard she seemed to be doing okay um, you know you've heard me talk about my niece Emily a lot here on this channel it's like she's my daughter she I, I, uh, I pretty much she's my daughter I bought my nieces she's the one I'm I guess closest to you're not supposed to have a favorite but I do. <laughs> anyway, Emily's uh, grandparents, her, Emily's mother is my sister. So Emily's father's parents, both of them have COVID-19. Emily's grandfather, they don't think he's going to survive. He is having health, uh, heart issues with the COVID-19. He is in ICU. Uh, they chose not to put him on a ventilator. So it's just a waiting game right now on that. And then Gracious. Let me spread this out before it dries. I cannot get my foundation out of the bottle. I think the pump is broken. I haven't used it in a while. Do you hear, do you hear that? 
you're getting just little tiny bits. This is the Fenty. I just pulled it out to use it. And oh my gosh. I don't know what is going on. Why are you not working? And of course, the lid doesn't seem to want to come off of this. All right, hang on, I'll be right back. I'm going to go get another foundation. Okay, I'm back. Let's try the uh, Maybelline 24 hour super stay foundation. Yeah, that one comes out. Let's go ahead and put it on my forehead. There we go. I don't know what's wrong with that Fenty. I'm going to try to work on it, but I hope I don't have to trash it just because I can't get the foundation out. Has anybody else have problems with their Fenty foundation doing that? I haven't used it in a while because I've been focusing on my Clinique foundation, which you notice is not here today. That's just a little sneak. <laughs> uh, so, man. Uh, I haven't gotten in the pool at all in a week. Uh, we've been having afternoon thunderstorms. And usually in the morning I'm working with my jewelry or you know, doing housework or you know stuff like that. So I haven't gotten in the pool. Hopefully this weekend I might be able to get some pool time in. But no pool time this past week. None last weekend. Alright, that's better. Man. Let's see, anything else exciting happening? No, I've got no plans. No exciting plans coming up. Um, those of you who have Hardee's near you, their brother brand is Carl Jr's. I think West Coast is Carl Jr's. On the East Coast, we have Hardee's. They have the Beyond Burgers. I didn't know it till the other day. So they have Beyond Burgers and Beyond, I think it, yeah, and Beyond Sausage. I had a Beyond Sausage egg and cheese biscuit after my colonoscopy the other day, and it was good. It was good. So we're going to, I'm going to try the burgers um, tonight. It's going to be dinner. My husband was saying the other day he missed Hardee's, but there was really nothing much I could eat at Hardee's. Well, now there is. So, I'm interested to check the burger and see if it's as good or better than the Impossible Whopper. I wish all the chains would come out with veggie burgers. Especially the Beyond. The Beyond burgers are so good. Even if you're not uh, vegan or vegetarian. You should try one. They're really good. Alright. Now. Uh, I can't think of anything exciting that's happened. Sold some jewelry. Not a lot. It's been a slow week. I will admit, it's a slow week. I have some more jewelry coming in today, of course. I've gotten some great pieces lately. Um, in hauls and I have hauls scheduled now up to mid-September so the one I filmed today when my jewelry comes in that will be up towards the end of September and I am I am really seriously I'm planning to do a live sale a live stream sale and I think 
well I know I want it to be a five dollar sale where everything I show is going to be five dollars and then if you're in the US shipping is just five dollars make it just easy and then if you're outside the US then I'll have to figure out shipping for you but all items is five dollars that's the plan and I'll do uh, if it goes well I will do more sales and then have like themes to them you know like all everything the same price or you know something like that so that's my goal Oops. and uh, I'm not sure I'm gonna do it yet um, I will let everyone know uh, at least a week in advance when that's going to be so it's not going to be this week it won't be this week I'm going to get things together this week but it might be in the next week or two not this coming week but the next week or the one after that Ooh. Hey, hey. was that FedEx? My husband just brought packages in, so the jewelry is here, I believe. Yay. I'm excited, so I get to film that. I will film it after I do this, but like I said, you guys won't see it till mid-September. There's plenty for you to watch. Plenty. There we go. Looks pretty good. Ugh. I thought it was hot here, and then my friend Lisa told me where she lives. It's in triple digits. We are not in triple digits, so I can't complain. I do have the fan going. I am looking into getting a little portable, the little, like, tabletop air conditioner for in here. I think I'll get one of those. They're not that expensive. that would help a lot now eyeshadows I brought my modern renaissance and I brought my singles and we're gonna work from both of those a little room here open both of these up all right so I'm gonna start in the modern renaissance palette and I'm going with the lightest shade just to set this primer and I am using the Essence I Heart Stage it's a really nice primer I like it better than I do the Urban Decay the Urban Decay uh, anti-aging one or whatever I like this better than that one. I would repurchase this again. Especially, you know, Ulta will have the sales on it, like on Essence, and you can get one, buy one, get one, like 40% off or something. That would be good. Now, let's see, for my crease, I think I'm going with, let's see, I'm wearing. I'm wearing red, it's red and purple, so I could pretty much, go with, let's go with, I, I'm making this up, real gar, let's go with that in my crease and see what happens, let's just, let's just make this up and see what, what we get. I'm thinking about doing more, um, let me, let me zoom you guys in a little so you can see what I'm doing, because I know you guys have said that before. There. I'm thinking about doing more, uh, eyeshadow looks, um, not full chatty get ready with me, but just doing, um, eyeshadow looks, 
Would you guys be interested in that? I'm thinking about doing that. And maybe, like, not chat at all during it. Just put the eyeshadows on and then have some soft music playing or something. Or would you rather have one where I tell you what I'm doing? Just uh, leave a comment below and let me know. I'm not trying to get all my ducks in a row and get um, build my channel more and also work on the jewelry at the same time and then also trying to craft because I'm making Christmas presents. And cleaning house. But I'm not going anywhere, so. That looks nice. I'm, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. My hair is blowing in my face. Alright, next. I think I'm going to go with... I'm going to go in Love Letter. That's a mat. Take this brush. I'm going to work it on in the outer V and then into the crease. Nice and deep. I need to do some blending. Blend, blend, blend. I want some more of the love letter. I want it a little darker. I think right in here. here to open my eyes up. I like that wide-eyed look. Okay. On my lid, I'm going to go into my singles. So, I'm going to go into this one. It's JD Glow and it's called Whip Appeal. It's in their Galaxy collection, which means I purchased this a few years ago and it, they might not have it anymore, <laughs> but I'm going to use it. JD Glow makes wonderful, wonderful eyeshadows. They are an indie brand, so... It is very pretty. Okay. I'm going back into my uh, single shadows. And I'm grabbing this one from JD Glow, and this is called Pandora. And I'm going to put this under my lower lash line. And I'm going back into the single shadows. A third JD Glow in white gold. I'll take that on my little detail brush. I'm going to put it in the center 
on my lid. And I'm going to put it in the highlight area. There we go. I'm going to take this new brush of mine. I'm going back into the lightest shade in my uh, Modern Renaissance palette and I'm just going to kind of blend up here at my brow. I don't want any shimmer up here, although I don't mind shimmer up here. But I think there's enough on my lower eyes to, to I don't need shimmer on top. Okay, I'm going to put my liner and mascara on. I'll be right back. Okay, there we go. I've got my eyes done. I think they look good. I'm going to continue with my face. I'm going to use my Too Faced Sun Bunny bronzer. There we go. I like to put it down here just to get everything to blend is just everywhere. There we go. Sun Bunny. Then I'm going into Too Faced Strawberry. And I'm going to swirl the two colors together. That's what I've usually been doing. And putting my blush on. smells so good. There we go. Now I'm going to take my damp sponge and go into my um, Super Shock uh, highlighter in Butterfly Beach and I have hit pan. This was in last year's project pan and I never did hit pan. I'm there now. I have pan. This one took a while to use. Okay. There we go. Go ahead and spray my face right now before I put my lips on. This is the new Eye uh, Heart Revolution Brightening Makeup Fixing Spray in Pineapple. And actually, I like this. It doesn't have the finest spray, but it is, I like it. It's nice. And then for lips, I brought my Tarte lipstick in Set Sail. There we go. I'm going to stop it there. I am all done. What do you think? I think it turns out good. I think it looks pretty good. So, I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. I would appreciate it. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. And guys, everybody stay safe, stay well, and I will see you guys next time.